Well, what if we were forced to face our spiritual growth as we are face, facing the constant changes in technology? At least with technology, if we struggle, we can ask someone with more knowledge to help us, perhaps even do it for us. By contrast, we are on our own when it comes to spiritual growth in how we face our challenges and testings. God doesn't force us to grow, but we are sure, sure given the opportunities, aren't we? How we handle them is completely up to us. No one can do it for us. Though if we are fortunate, we have family, friends, or a community like we have here at Quest Haven that support us in our efforts. Well, since the pandemic began a couple years ago, we have certainly been given many opportunities to grow, haven't we? And it, even if we haven't felt personally challenged, we have in our wider community, our nation, and our global family. Carolyn Mace, a medical intuit and modern day mystic, wrote a little book at the beginning of that pandemic in early 2020 entitled Intimate Conversations with the Divine. And it's basically a little book of prayers. And in that book she says, we have never known a time of such great change. Everything is experiencing transformation from our ecology, to our biology, to our technology, to the health of our world community. We cannot keep up with the speed of change, and nothing is as frightening to us as change. No wonder there is so much fear in the air. So many people want to go back to the way things used to be, to simpler times. But evolution never moves backward. Everything in us tells us that becoming whole, one with all creation, is the next great spiritual mountain we must climb. <laughs> 